<laughs> We're live. How about that? Oops. Where's a head? There's a head. Uh, do I have sound going out? I seem to have sound going out. I haven't tried to test this since uh, it updated yesterday because I was too busy chasing trains. There you go. Hello, Crazy Dash. Hello, NJTE. Hello, Metra. Good morning. If you're having dramas with the game, we can try and sort them out today too. So today we're doing Tokyo, and we're doing, and I'm going to butcher this probably, the Utsukihin Tokahuk and Utsuomiya lines. Fortunately, at least one of the trains does announcements. Now, I haven't even actually thought about which one to run, because, you know, I'm sad like that. Uh, which one's going to be daytime? This one will probably be daytime, 5.27 in the morning. That should be daytime. Let's just start this. I don't know if the rail driver is going to work because um, it didn't after the previous update and I had to reinstall the rail driver software. Crazy Dash, you missed the train. Oh no. What are we going to do? Well, the game ran. That's a start. Does the rail driver work? No. No, rail driver not working. Damn it. I'll have to do it the hard way today. All right, then. Now I've got to remember how to start this thing. So, brake has to go into emergency. It already is. We've got to turn on the key. And push and hold this thing, I think. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this, I think, is something I have to turn on over here somewhere. Might be that one. What's that one? Headlight dimmer. No, don't have to do that. Oop, it's doing things. Now I should be able to release the brakes. Yeah, it looks promising. Sound like it released the brakes. Let's put the headlights on. Let's put a little bit of brake on. Let's uh, load up our people. Oh, it's doing stuff. Okay. Yeah, that was an interesting camera angle. We, we appear to be inside a roof. Hmm. We're inside a building now. There's a train. Well, it's got the headlights on. That's a good start. It does look quite Tokyo. How about frames? No, this key. Ah, 60. That's all right. That's what I've got the game capped at anyway, so uh, it probably won't do more than that most of the time. That's a bit quiet. Let's turn it up a bit. And let's turn it down a bit for me, turn it up a bit for you. And that should be good, hopefully. Crazy Dash said I had a got on a pendolino to race the steam train to the next major stop so that I can get on. Well, you know, that might work, or it might not. NJTE says it's 11 degrees for him with drizzle outside. Uh, it's not warm in late April here, mate. It is cold, although we do, it probably will actually get to about 20 degrees Celsius today. Oh, there's another train going. Let's go watch that one go. Ah! Bull. It's important to go and it won't let me out. Come on, 8 cam, thank you. I don't care if we're late, I want to watch that train. Seems fair. We'll be driving one of those ones later on. I'm starting with the blue one, though, because it has the announcements. All right. Uh, I don't remember how to use keyboard. I haven't used keyboard for ages. Did it shut the doors? Let's make sure. It did. Good. Okay. Power. More power. Something's happening. Don't know what. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Do you know, I read up on the signals, but I'm not sure what a dark signal means. Hmm, okay. Ah, we'll just drive the thing. What could go wrong? Metra says, it seems like you guys are lucky. It's supposed to be cold, but Australia isn't going for the cold and rainy weather. Oh no, we had cold and rainy weather yesterday. While I was out chasing trains, it was pissing down with rain. Fortunately, after the train started to run, it was quite nice. More power. And I'm sad rail driver's not working. I shall have to reinstall it again. 
When the game does a major update, it often replaces the DLLs that Raildriver puts in place. Oop, not breaking. Crazy Dash says the route looks really impressive. Makes me excited to see future Japanese routes in TSW from Union Workshop. Yeah, there's lots of nice touches like that one. It's a cake shop. By train. We should probably go with it, shouldn't we? Uh, we have a station coming up soon. Probably should start braking, shouldn't I? I haven't turned on its safety systems because I can't go outside when its safety systems are on. I have to try and line it up with these gates too. Could be fun. That's a very short skirt. Who said that? Wasn't me. I'm not here. Let's see how we went there. Oh, look at that. Flicked it. <laughs> Hello, Brad MacArthur. How are you? I do like the vending machines. They're um, quite nice. All the different Japanese drinks and sweets and things you can have. Wow, 150 yen. It's pretty expensive. When I think of the yen versus our dollar. But Japan is expensive. Aren't you glad she's making the announcements, not me? Because, you know, I don't sound like that. Alright, brakes off. Whoops, not emergency brakes. I don't know if Japanese trains honk the horn. In fact, I don't think they do. I don't think I've ever heard one do it in uh, videos. Off we go. Next stop. I think in reality, NJT, there actually are gates, but they're not in the game. Because they haven't got any way to implement them. I know that kind of signal over there is a repeater. Metra, you need to understand economy. <laughs> the US doesn't drive the world economy, I'm afraid. Bing. I think we went overrun this one. I think I just overrun it quite a bit. Ah, that's okay. The people can get out in the other parts of the carriage. They'll be fine. See you later, folks. Have fun. Konnichiwa. Whoop, he's walking through a wall. And another one. That looks really uncomfortable and painful. There's a man in a hat. This train's going to Ofuna. Alright then, let's get out of here. Don't worry about the train horn. Do you know I actually think the um, dash resolution has improved since the game update? Because look at that, that's, that's quite crystal clear. It wasn't before. 
the other thing that's improved is um, RWE I have not reinstalled and I'm not seeing any artifacts so I may not even bother installing RWE we shall see probably wouldn't work anyway anymore because the shaders are different there's new ones Brad says he's on a road trip for a few weeks, visited the Juni Roundhouse. That's an interesting place, that one. Very interesting railway museum with some operational aspects still in place. Yes, they do still operate trains out of Juni. I think, uh, no, 3801's not living in there anymore. It lives somewhere else now, I think. NJT says, in reality, they're called half-height platform screen doors. They are, but I think they do actually have a door or a gate in them. I don't think they're um, quite as open as they look in the game. Crazy Dash said, are there any sort of indications we need to stop to align with the platform screen doors? Yes, there are. I shall show you. This orange sign up here is a point of no return. So after you've gone past that, you, you're leaving that section. You can't go back into it. And it's actually a symbol for the... Uh, there's a lady walk through the stairs. It's a thing for the guard at the back. Because the driver can't come back if he's... If the back of the train's gone past that. See these ten things coming up? On the left and the right here? You need to make them just disappear. And I'm going to go over. Oh, I went a bit over. Yeah, we need it too far. They need to line up with the front of the train so you can see the 10 there. It needs to line up with the front. So let me backwards. It's so much easier with rail driver. We're not here, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't happening. It's all a bad dream. There we go. That'll do. And going forwards again. Hello, Alex. Now you see how it's lined up with the front of the train now? So just as they disappear from view is when you have to stop, which I did rather poorly. So as they disappear on either side, you should be lined up, in theory. Oh, that's in a building. There you go, there's down the other end. Look at that, they line up at the other end too. Off we go again. Where's my next station? 1.58 k's, so I can do some decent speed this time. Full power. Yeah, the different signs on the different platforms um, line up based on your train length. Suit fashion. Excellent. JT says, since we're late now, the railway now sends a formal apology to the passengers and their employers. Only if you were going to work. Well, I can't read Japanese, so I can't tell if we're late. I'm sure the screen tells me somewhere that I'm late.
Let's see if I can manage to not completely bugger it up this time. How'd we go? Oh, we're on the wrong side. Go around there. Not far enough this time. Okay. There we go. It was much closer that time. Let's have a look at this station while we're waiting. Y'all we can buy a printer, or a phone, or a laptop, or a tablet. From Mr. Expert. Would you go to a computer person called Mr. Expert? Whee! Oh, that's kind of cute. Well, it's time to go, isn't it? There you go. Door's closed. Hey, hang on, it's not lined up. Oh, no, it is lined up at the back. It's all right. Away we go! First question for today. What are the trains that come with this route? There are two of them. Well, there's two drivable ones. Give me the drivable ones. Where's my notepad gone? There it is. It'd be easy to get points today. There's only six of you watching. Be easy to win today. Not much competition at all. Everybody else is probably trying to make the game work. Who said that? Do you mean you didn't study Metra? What's going on? They're lovely electric trains. They're your favourite. You know what? I better be slowing down. I have a station coming and I'm going very fast. I tried to find out what the yellow things are for in the middle of the track, but uh, I was not able to. Enjoy your run to Dubbo, Brad. Dubbo, the armpit of the universe. There's only one place in the in the uh, state worse than Dubbo, and that's Punchbowl. Dubbo is the armpit. Punchbowl's the bum hole. So, who is looking forward to Peak Forest coming out? It's very soon, isn't it? Was it the ninth? So, nine, ten days from now, whatever it is, something like that. It's not far. Oh, it's going too far. Engage the emergency brake, and it didn't help. I don't know. Ah, good enough. Doors open. Oh, only some of them did. Front ones didn't open. Sorry, people in the front car. You'll have to move to the next car down. Crazy Dash says he's not much of a Steam fan, so won't be picking it up. That's okay. Not everyone has to like Steam. I kind of do, because, you know, I work on a steam railway. We were inside a vending machine there. Whee! I should probably reduce the brakes before I need to. It's another dark signal. We'll just assume that's green. Let's go! Full power! Give it all the beans. Do I not bother asking quiz questions today? No one's interested. Ah. 
Ah, answer from NJTE, which is in fact correct. Well done. NJTE with first points on the board. There's a couple of them stapled over there. It's a big dash, isn't it? It's like a really wide train. You try and reach over the other side, you'll never get there. I did get your answer in, JT. Thank you very much. How is everybody today, anyway? Are we having fun? What are we going to run next week? Could we do some trams next week, maybe? I'll pop up a pole. Would you like some more wire if you breathe that? JK41, the doors on the right side will open. Ooh, we just passed a sign from Mr. Boss. He must be important. We'll go back and look at those signs after we stop. Can he get it right this time? No, he's going to run past it again. God damn it. Don't care. There you go, I've just put up a poll for next week. Hello, SIT, how are you? Wish I had my rail driver working, but I don't. Off we go via JK40 North. The next station is Nishikawaguchi, JK40. The doors on the right side will open. It may be necessary for the train to stop suddenly to prevent an accident. So please be careful. Clearly that's reacting to my driving. The train may suddenly stop to prevent accident. So what unusual feature does the E233-1000 have in the game that the E233-3000 does not have? Ah, oh, electrics are awesome. We were talking about battery powering one of our steam engines yesterday. I think we're all looking forward to the day that the railways of Chicago come into the current century. I know you're living with old trains right now. You can't help that. Crazy Dash gets it correct. Mamonaku, Nishikawaguchi, Nishikawaguchi, Otekuji.
口は右側です。The next station is 西川口 JK40. The doors on the right side will open. Now, I'm not a fan of hydrogen trains, I have to admit. Only for one reason. Hydrogen burns with a colourless invisible flame, so if it's leaking and it's on fire, the only thing you will know about it is because your skin's coming off. How'd we do? Oh, look at that. Halfway. It'll do. There goes a 3,000. I have to say that this is actually one of the busiest routes I've ever seen in Train Simulator. And I'd love to know how they managed to do it without it exploding. Who is the developer of this route? Oops, wrong way again. Away we go. Full power. All the beans. Crazy Dash is correct. The developer is Union Workshop. The publisher is Dovetail Metro, not the developer. I have to say the scenery is um, remarkably Japanese. I did just encounter the bug too in the new release. When you're in the four camera you used to be able to pan around and you can't anymore. You're stuck. What you can do is go four, eight, and then you can. And you can do things like this too. That's a bit janky, isn't it? I won't do that again. Ooh, it's stopping early. Now, I saw your answer about the 1000 in JT, but it wasn't to a question. Crazy Dash asks, does the Shinkansen run on this route? Not on the route itself, but I think on one of the parallel tracks, yes. That's easy for her to say. JK39. The doors on the right side will open. Please watch your step when you leave the train. And take your monkeys with you. Please do not leave any monkeys on my train. we do. Oh, getting better. Getting better. He's a big unit. Massive. Zoom up in the air and have a look. Whee. Hmm, big bridge coming. Gratuitous bridge shot coming up. Let's get into a nice position for the gratuitous bridge shot. Probably want to be in there where it's reflecting so we can see a train on it. How am I going to know the doors are shut now? Hmm. 
This could be bad. We shall see. If the game ends now, well, no, the doors weren't shut. Nah, it's letting me move. It's all good. Ah, Crazy Dash says it's kind of a shame that the PSDs don't animate. SIT says he bought TransPennine today. Manual gears are annoying, but it's something different. I reckon they're cool. We've actually, One of our diesels has got a uh, manual gearbox, a bit like the 101s. It's a crunch box. Crazy Dash says, I wonder how Japan was able to build those massive corridors through such massive and dense cities. They felt like it, is the answer to that question. Where's our train? Train. Or a train. Train. Hello. Ah, we're nearly there. Actually, we're going to be on to be this side, aren't we? See our train. There he is. I don't know for that bridge. Now we're going to go off to the next one. Because there's another one. Look. That'd be a nice spot. Smooth. Japan has a very different culture to America, Crazy Dash. I think you will find that the people are largely supportive of things that the government wants to do. And while Japanese cities are very dense, the um, reality in the countryside is quite different. We will pop up and have a look at that sign in a moment. The next station is Akabane JK38. The doors on the right side will open. Please change here for the Utsunomiya Line, Takasaki Line, Shonan Shinjuku Line, and the Saikyo Line. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please wait while the train moves ahead. Because your driver is a donkey. Aww. Okay, doors open. The Japanese do like rail because most Japanese do not have cars. It is unusual to possess a car. Same in Singapore. It's very unusual to possess a car. Really only rich people and service people have got them. Except out in the country. You do have to be careful with this game. You notice how it says go by a JK North, but the doors were still open? You've got to look. Oh, I forgot. We're going to go look at a sign. It's an anime tiki. That looks like a Shikensen big nose train in behind her. So I'm guessing she's a train driver. And looks like, let's go, Tohoku. Seems fair. It's like making Pokemon out of trains. Why are you yelling at me, train? Stop it. Some states like trains. California kind of does. 
Oh, the braking system just got me then. Did you notice that? If I was going too quick, it started slowing me down. It's got two different safety systems on it. Yeah, Brightline might help. If Americans stop driving their cars through the crossings. Like that one the other day, the one that actually went round the gates in front of an Amtrak train and got creamed. Literally creamed. He and his car were just completely flat. Nothing left, wrapped around the front of a train. And all the big chunky bits like the motor were just off to the sides. There's no massive opposition to trains here beyond that generally people don't like giant government projects very much. We have an airport line that's uh, on again, off again, for example. I feel good about that one, but I shouldn't have. <coughs> Bugger. Ah, sigh. Please wait while the train moves forward. There we go, you can stop now. Doors open. Okay, how many lines are present in this DLC that you can drive on? Being specific about that because there are more. Go look around again. Another track up here. This this is uh, might be Shinkansen actually, because that looks like the kind of overhead stuff they use. High speed running. It'd be cool if a Shikansen was actually on here as an AI train, wouldn't it? It's just squint whoosh every now and again. Alright, let's go. Full beans. There are two lines. Crazy Dash and NJTE are correct. Crazy Dash was first on my screen. Crazy Dash asks, am I near a major city? I am in the city of Melbourne. Well, I'm actually in the city of Frankston, which is part of the city of Melbourne. Moa power. This is actually as far as I've driven in this train, you know that? I suppose I should start braking because that station's not very far away. Crazy Dash watched a video on the Melbourne rail system. It looks really good. It's not bad. There, there are some things that could be better. We need more trains on the network. And they are doing work to make that happen. We've had signalling system upgrades over the last few, three or four years. There's a level crossing removal program happening at the moment to uh, stop people creaming themselves so we can run the trains faster. And that involves either just simply closing that part of the road or building a bridge over the top or a tunnel underneath. And it varies depending on the area and the landscape. We are now arriving somewhere because the lady hasn't told us where we're arriving at. Oh, near enough. Now we have more business like people who are sunk in the concrete and walking on air. Wow, she's good. Oops. Don't we all want people who can walk in air? That's amazing. Now we can we look up here? Can we see them? Yep. They just walk over our head. Yeah, currently on OG Line 1. I 
what are the two lines represented in this DLC? Oof we go. How's my pole doing? We've got a bit of favour for uh, tram sim. We've got some people that want to see the updated TSC routes. I think I've got them all. Not too much love for diesel engines. That's probably one person based on the votes. You are correct in the uh, service types. So you've answered the question I haven't asked yet. Well, I guess that means I give you points. And I won't ask that question. Given I did... I let Metro get away with that last time, so I should let you get away with it too. Ah, we're going to slide on through. Oh no. Oh, actually, no we're not. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. Relax. No problem. Relax. It's all good. As they say in the great song, straight on through to the other side. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. There's an emergency train stop button. Ooh. You know you want to push the button. I wonder if that cuts the power or something. NJT is getting tram sim tomorrow. On console or on PC? And away we go. Console, nice. Oh, have fun, NJT. Enjoy yourself. Coming up to the Tabata line. Sounds like a sausage. Like tea butter. That's a bread. Bing. Bing. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Houses up on top of a concrete hill. I particularly like that even though there's a bit of a concrete hell for the railway line, they've uh, got some trees too. Coming through. You're standing in a chair, lady. come over here so I can use my cheating method. As we roll into the station, casually and slowly, there's another lady standing in a chair.
Here we go. Where we go? Charging off towards Nishi Nishi. Come to the land of Japanese. Amazing how many assets they've built for this, actually. So I don't recognise a lot of these buildings. Oh, there's another man standing in the air. They're very clever. Another lady standing in a wall. They need to work on their collision boxes, that's for sure. And have a perfume ad there. A bit annoying having a platform going downhill. All right, so let's end that poll because it appears that we do want TSC routes. Hello, Mandy, how are you? And let's pop in a new poll to see which routes we do. So there's LIRR. Cannot type. Yes, I know the train wants to go. Where did we open again? Hey, where are you going, train? Why did the doors open again? That's weird. Hmm. Ah, we got pignets. And what else did they update? Huddersfield's the other one they updated. Alright, off we go. This time for sure, are we? So I've popped up another hole which I'll leave up for the rest of the stream. Must be time for another question. I mean, to this station a bit hot. We're gonna, we're gonna nib with it. No, we're not. It's all right. It's okay, it's okay, it's only a small overrun, don't panic. Doors open. It's all good. How are you, Mandy? Let's go for another question. When did the Utsu no Miya line open? Come look at some more Japan 
look at some of the signs, you can be a hero. The Tenoti Hobby Shop. Ah, capsule hotels. They're a uh, very Japanese thing. A capsule hotel, you um, get a box. No, much earlier than that, Metro. You get a box roughly the size of a shower to sleep in sideways. And they're often in places like railway stations and airports. Are you going to uh, Cajon Pass, Mandy? This train has uh, ATS and ATC. They're a little bit like PTC. This is better. Much nicer stuff. We're certainly in a different area now. How are we going along the line? Center of the player. Oh, not too long to go, I think, because we're heading southwards, so. Oh, you mean where is the PTC for Cajon Pass? Don't think it supports it. We've almost done a full length run of this route now. You can ride as a passenger. Cool. Some routes do support PTC, Mandy. I don't think a home pass does. In fact, I don't think any of the diesel routes do. I think only the electric ones do. I was in one of the front cars. I thought I was down near the back, but no. How long is this route? That's a question. You'll have to figure that out for yourselves when we get there. No one's guessed the right time frame for this route yet. It actually opened in 1883. And I won't ask when did the Kahintohoku open because uh, you probably won't get that either. It was 1914 at the Kahintohoku. You can tell me how many scenarios come with this route. Quite different signalling over on this line, isn't it? Where we are now. Oh, and we're back with the uh, magic gates. Looks it. I think 
the length of this route is actually one of the questions. Uh, no, it's not. I shall have to look it up for you. It's only part of the route. It's not the whole thing represented. Because the whole thing runs from... Uh, I'm going to say... Kawasaki. You have finished the scenario successfully. Click the X. Oh. You gain zero points. That's true, because I've turned them off. Alrighty. What are we going to run now? I think that was a bit more than 45 minutes. The one we just ran, because that was that one that we just ran, and it was uh, quite a bit longer. What about... Let's have a look at one of these. So it's the same train, but it's supposed to be short, and it's meant to be really hard. 27 kilometres. No, I think it's more than that. But I'll have to look it up. Ah, oh, Metro got the correct answer for the number of scenarios. Well done, sir. Well done indeed. Good afternoon, you're required to drive a short rapid service bound for Higashi Jujo. Stop at Ueno, Tabata, Uiji, and Higashi Jujo. I assume you'll tell me when to stop, so I don't have to remember any of these things. Uh, we are in emergency break, so key forwards. Release. If I press and hold that till the light goes out, and then we'll be able to drive. So I should be able to reduce the brakes now. Looks promising. Crows are here. Where are we on the route this time? This time, excuse my hiccups. Ah, we're going the other way. Okay, we're at that station we finished at. That's kind of cool. What railroad company do I work for? Puffing Billy Railway. I am a volunteer worker. The doors are now closing. Let's go! Full power. This is a rapid service but a low speed limit. Much sunnier than last time. I have to say the new version of Train Sim actually looks better. Don't don't think I need RWE anymore. Quite cool. Rapid is partly express, yes. What station are we actually stopping at first? Let's have a look. We are stopping at Nipori. Is it Nipori 12? Go via? Go via? Go via? When do we have to stop? Pick up passengers? Tabata. Okay. Tabata's the first one we're actually stopping at. Have you noticed the safety system cutting in every now and again and breaking me? That's not me doing that. That's the train. I think it wants me to stop accelerating. Tabata Line 1. Okay, we're nearly at our first stop. It's not this station, it's the next one. It does get a bit jumpy when you get the brakes on hard, doesn't it?
in we slide. Now arriving at Tabata. Please collect your belongings, children, service animals, pets, iguanas, and magpies. Can anybody tell me why I started powering then instead of braking? Because look what's happened. Oh no! Oh, it's okay. Yes, the 3000s do have two multiple level coaches in the middle. Well, not all of them, but some of them do. When Kahin Tohoku first opened, what was it called in English? Flying Scotsman looks like a popular choice for next week. L I I should point out that we'll um do probably the top two or three. So L Flying Scotsman, L I R R and Huddersfield look like the candidates at the moment. We can do that. They do not have anything for increased automation, no. It's up to the driver. How far away is our next actual stop? Nakazoto. Kami Nakazoto. Okay. Oop, tunnel. Imagine living up there, the vibration would be quite extreme. We're in a tunnel, Jack. Now we're in a bridge. Always amuses me to do that. This is our next stop coming up. Wasn't called Hepburn, no. It was called the Taikato Electric Line. We'll do a run with the um, 3000 on the next one. And then because Metra's been having trouble with the, uh, the Challenger and the Big Boy, but since the update, I'll crank up one of those and we'll see how that goes. Because I haven't actually tried them since the update. I did try them, well it's not narrow gauge to Japan, it's their standard gauge, 3 foot 6. Actually it's not quite 3 foot 6 because it's 1067 millimeter, which isn't quite 3 foot 6, it's like 3 foot 5 and a bit. It's the same gauge as Australian Queensland Rail. Lovely. Look at that. Mandy asked, do you think the Peninsula Quarter gets new lighting and new electrify line and new layers in the future? Particular corridor, I guess you mean, Mandy. Um, there's no plans for it that I'm aware of in either Train Sim Classic or in Train Sim World, but you never know what the future might bring. It would, I would actually think it would be really cool to have an updated Peninsula Corridor. I know there's a a lot of players from that area, so... It would be good to update it. Uh, 
I guess the thing it's got going in its favour from a gaming perspective is that uh, it's not as big as developing a new route from scratch. Very cartoon-like from this angle, doesn't it? Oh, look, there's not much over there. Not much over there. That's how you make these games perform well. Oh, that's a massive yard. Let's go look at this. That's huge. There's nothing in it, but it's huge. Where is our train? I've lost it. Better go back to it. Where are we stopping next? Ooh, here. Ah, here. Emergency brake. We're going to fluke this, you know. That man has a very serious hat. We need to go and look at that man's hat. Good enough. Let's go and look at Mr. Hat if we can. Come on, you. Is that the most serious hat you've ever seen or what? One of the firemen at Puffing Billy who likes to prove that you don't have to get dirty when you fire wears a uh, white shirt and a bowler hat. Doors closing and away we go. Where are we stopping next so I don't have such a thing? Higashi Juju. Or Shujo. Have you finished sneezing yet, cat? Having fun down there? I don't have to wipe off the side of my computer now because it's all covered in cat snot. Now, uh, some of the gallery cars will probably get sold to a different city, I imagine. Somewhere backwards, like Chicago. Because they won't need as many. They're still actually going to run some diesel services end-to-end -end on Peninsula Corridor. Because the, the trains that go all the way through to Gilroy, they're not making people change at San Jose. They're going to run the diesel all the way out to Gilroy. Because the electrification only goes to San Jose. This is Higashi Juju. Is this where we're stopping? Might be. It is where we're stopping. We'll jump on one of the green and yellow ones next. Nashville backwards to Metro. Nearly there. Uh oh, I'm going to be in a wall. That's going to make it difficult to work out where to stop. Oh, nearly. Doors open. <laughs> Crazy Dash says down the road sections of the line will be triple tracks to accommodate CAHSR trains. Hillsdale has been completely elevated, many stations have been renovated, and the line isn't even in service yet. I will have to come and visit when it comes into use. Congratulations, you have finished the scenario. All right, let's jump into one of the 3000s and then we'll go and have a bit of a play with a smoke box thing. So a 3000 service, I haven't driven one of these at all. Let's try a rapid, shall we? Should we what time is it? 9.44, let's try a slightly longer rapid. Oh, 
In what real life cities or wards does the Kahinta Hoku line run between? With the opening of the Ino Tokyo line, the number of trains departing from the first world of Ino station has decreased sharply. Even in this rush hour, you will take this rapid service with the nickname Rabbit Bunny Bunny. From Ueno to Omiya, stop at Ueno, Akabani, Urawa, and Omaya. Okay. Why well, shouldn't we start these up the same way? Good plunk. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. It does look like they start the same way. Right, should be open the doors now. We are in a green train, which has a remarkably same cab as the other one. We've got some double deckers down there. What about a passenger view? Passenger view is almost the same. We have a uh, older person. It looks like it might be a Japanese schoolgirl. A uh, anime character who's about to blast into Dragon Ball Z. And a business dude. Alrighty then, breaks off and away we go, full power. And our first station will be... Akabani. So kind of surprised Chicago doesn't want to buy the uh, the F forties. They seem to like F forties. Climbing up out of the hole. Book now on ruby.net. Happy endless. Love you long time. I think America has committed to all GVO5 trains by 2035, Metro, so those machines will not last beyond that because they are not GVO5. That is, of course, unless America lied at the uh, World Summit on Global Warming, which is entirely possible. Twenty three B. on an elevated railway here. Mandy, I did you I think you asked is dovetail time time dovetail games actually getting bought? Yes, they already have been. They have been bought by a French company called Focus Entertainment.
They're not expecting it to make any difference to the games though. First level crossing I've seen. a repeater signal. We are running down the express tracks. Coming up with Akabani, which is our first stop. So I won't bother speeding up to 100. I like the way the uh, train cars light up on the display there when they're powering. Now, does this station have gates? That's a question. Snucky platform nine and three quarters. That lady just walked through a wall. Our local friend beat me to the stop. What's going on there? Let's go, Tohoku. Yeah, 
Who's going to get the doors shut first? Sounds like it's the blue train. It's going to get the jump on me. Off he goes with his head start. And off we go. It's a bit of parallel running going on. He's doing better on the acceleration than we are, but we're starting to catch him. Where is our next stop? Urawa. Oh, he disappeared. You like the throbbing of a big diesel, do you, Mandy? Back to the bridges. I'm clearly being naughty. You are not allowed to go faster than me, local train. Stop it. It looks like next week we'll be flying Scott, LIRR and Huddersfield. The week after that will be peak.
guy in the back too. Part of that station? Not far. That one, in fact. Slowing down for Urawa. No, local train's not catching up. I thought he might, but he's not. Is it possible to add PTC for Cajon Pass? Yes, will they? Probably not. I'm just curious. Can I stop it blind? We'll see in a minute. Will it work? Hello, Cyclone. That's not too bad. Open the doors. Not a bad stop for that not watching. You think PTC is on Gahone Pass Metro? It is in real life, but I don't think it is in the game. So we've still got Flying Scotty in the lead with LIRR and Huddersfield coming after that. Well, yes, Cyclone. Uh, we don't have blinds to cover up the whole window. All right, then. Let's get out of here. What's our next stop? Saitama. I'm tipping LIRR will perform fine on my computer. Just saying. Even without trying it, I can tell you it'll perform fine. Oh, 
I'm not even sure I have them installed at the moment. No, they know what it is, Mandy. Because they've got PTC, ATC and Axis running on other routes. In fact, PTC is just a form of ATC and Axis, really. Where we're stopping? It is where we're stopping. I thought it was. We'll have to slow down soon. Cyclone says 15 FPS at Jamaica when it came out. Still slow with M3. Oh, I don't have those dramas. Your hardware's a bit old, Cyclone. You need some faster hardware, my, my friend. But coming up soon, the, the update that's just come out is the last time there's going to be a TSC for 32-bit. There will not be any further releases for TSC for 32-bit. And because of the Steam changes next year, Steam is changing the Steam client next year. It will only support Windows 10 and Windows 11, which means all of the people with old hardware are out of the picture. Fair enough, Cyclone. You can be agent if you want to. So I should make it clear that's not Dovetail's choice to uh, abandon the old old hardware. It is on the 32-bit front. They've made that choice themselves. Blunk. But uh, it's Steam that's forcing it for everything else. Hmm, they're knee-deep in the platform. Someone got their collision box wrong at, at the wrong height there. Where are we stopping next? Which I think is our last stop. Omiya! Okay. Alrighty, now off we go. The 32-bit choice is the compiler they have moved TrainSim to is the last compiler that will compile 32-bit code. The next version that they're moving up to the next version of the compiler, so they're on uh, Studio 2017 now. When they go to Studio 2023, they won't actually be able to build 32-bit code anymore because it's not an option. That's why they're doing that. Uh, Cyclone... Mandy says, if I asked nightly, nicely, what would they say? Well, you can always try. You can jump onto Dovetail's forums and see what they say. Antcraft says, Konnichiwa! This DLC looks fantastic. How are you finding it? I don't mind it. I think it's a, a bit of fun. It is very Japanese. And I'm glad I've got a HUD. Oops, oops, going too fast. Going much too fast. Much too fast. There we go. Well, I somehow made it in time. Because if I'd hit that that quickly, it would have been a bit interesting. Alright, we're going to go and try some smoke box content in a moment, assuming I've got some installed. Mandy likes that it shows the gradient and speed restrictions. Yes, that is very handy. I actually wish... Oops, why am I 
speeding up for. I actually wish we had this HUD in um, Train Sim World, to be honest. Ooh, there's a little shop. I'll leave that stopping by itself. That's cool. Have a little shop out in the platform. I like that. Pretty sure this is the end of the scenario. Ah, thank you, Cat. SIT, congratulations, you just got a freebie membership from Cat. Whoop, and another one. Antcraft. And Antcraft gets a membership from Cat. Well done. Thank you again, Cat. Very generous. You finished the scenario successfully. And the train is leaving anyway. Cool beans. Let's go and try... Oh, what do we do? We want to try... Actually, let's just go back to the main menu just to clear everything. And come back in here again. Because I want... Either Big Boy or Challenger. I don't really care which one it is. Funny, it's got the word search in it. Big Boy by Smoke Box. There we go. And let's do 50 box cars. And we don't do it in the Rio Grande Southern, I don't think. I don't think that would work terribly well. Ah, I'm trying to remember what, what line it's on natively. I know it'll work on Donna Pass, so that's a possibility. It'll work on Marias Pass. We might put it on the Mount Shasta line. Why not? I haven't run that for ages. See if we can get up the hill. Hello, Daniel Robert Jowett. Well, that's a good start. It didn't crash. Looks like it normally does. Is that the HD version? Uh, I'm not sure it's the HD version, actually. Alrighty. Wipe overcharged. Smoke box, sometimes I hate your brakes. Because now I'm going to have to do this. Should actually be a charge and or a charge and hold it for four seconds and then back. That'll do it. As the brakes pump up. Brakes are still pumping. It'll be a little while before we move. If that's too loud, let me know. Come on, Mr. Big Boy. Let's get out of here. Look at my brakes are still pumping. They are. Oh, you know why? <laughs> That'll help. Let's 
having a bit of a hard time here. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Hello, Violet. Why am I still losing brake pressure? That is in running, I think. I did not put that into charge, Mr. Smokebox. Alright. Let's do what Mr. Smokebox demands. Come on. Come on. Oh, your, your brake script is broken like the New Zealand was, was since the update. Mr. Smokebox is going to need to update his brake script. So are we back to zero now? We are. Put it all the way back to charge and release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back to running. Come on, running. Just stay there. Did you go into running? You did. Okay. I'll wait for it to pump the train up again. Violet loves pumping Billy with a passion as well. We'll have to get you up there one day, Violet, and we can um, ride the train. And well, it's probably a bit hard to do a live stream from there, actually, because there's uh, there's not much mobile phone coverage up there. I'm just waiting for my brakes to pump up again. Yeah, the the Kiwi trains, the JA and the KB on Midland, they run the um, the same brake script that Smokebox uses, because they used his script. There we go. Let's jump out. Come on, chat. Come on, big boy. Let's get going. I think it would be fun to do a combined combined bit of production work, why not? If you haven't checked out Violet's channel, it's uh, poetry, singing, it's chatting, it's just all sorts of fun stuff. This is looking a little healthier. Let's close our cocks. This is looking much better. Start bringing the reverser back. I hope I've got the retirement turned on. Otherwise we're going to run out of water. Huh? AI fireman disabled, that's not what I want. If I'm in enabled, that's what I want. Gotta try and build up some speed before this gradient that's coming up. Imagine the drivers in that set of diesels over there going, What the? What is that doing here? That'd be cool, Violet. I have got a um, sound piece that was made for me by Bottleneck John, who's a Swedish blues artist, for Puffing Billy. Bring it down to about 30 odd. Mm, that's slowing us down. Give it some more on the reverser. It is quite a steep gradient, so I'm not too surprised that it's losing a bit of power. Hopefully, I don't stall out.
I'm actually on, let me just check my roster, but I'm pretty sure I'm on next week. Ah, Puppet Billy, volunteer rosters, and hopefully this doesn't turn up on the main screen, because you guys didn't get to see this, really. Oh, we're slowing down some more. I might have to leave some cars behind. This might be too much for poor big boy. Ah, May 2023, Sunday 6th, I'm on the lunch train. 9-14-21-34 That'll be cool Just for Metro He does like his bells Ooh, we're picking up speed again Oh, that's because the grade's flattening out. Dylan Boone says, how do you play a custom scenario in TSW3? Well, first you have to make it with Scenario Planner. Or, if you don't want to make it, there's quite a few that you can download from Creators Club. You could certainly make some music with Steam backgrounds. Why not? It's probably better if we plan it on a day that we can just go and ride the train, though, because um, if I'm firing, I won't have time to talk to you. Because it's actually a pretty intense job. Big fella's on a roll now. Mandy wants to see multiplayer in tra multiplayer, sorry, in train sim. The players are conducted to get passenger tickets or as an engineer. It would be very cool to have multiplayer in the game. I think we're in a tree. It is a fairly common request, so you never know, it may happen one day. We're on the dark side. That's our prey. Oh, pity the cat. Not bad. You don't even be able to see me at station, Pilot. I don't really need to worry about reducing speed for this upcoming speed limit. Doing it all by ourselves. I hate to think how much steam I'm using right now. The AI fireman's keeping up quite happily. We are on a 100% regulator. Looks like we're holding our speed now. Oh no, we're still losing it slowly. So there we go, Mr. Metra. Challenger does work fine. Or Big Boy works fine. So it is your game install that's having problems, not Big Boy. Yes, unfortunately we're not in the uh, the past that we used to be in, Violet, because 
I could have got you into the sheds and I could have got you into the cab, but we can't do that anymore. Our regulator has said no. Cool, Violet. Cyclone says the Brighton mainline route has an ad. I just noticed yesterday, I'm actually making tea taste better. Well, you could have diesel tea, why not? I have to say this is smoother in the new build. What about looking on 90 degrees? Well, that was always a bit janky. No, still a little bit janky. Yes. Streamers all learn. Don't look at the train at 90 degrees. Look at a rock instead. Still holding our own up here. Back on the dark side again. No, I think she's holding her own Metro. I'm happy with 19.6. We're still accelerating. If I give her more reverses, she'll run out of speed. Yes, the person with a clipboard, very much so. Cyclone has run BML and picked the school barn. No bell for you, Metro. You got your bell before. Fan, hiding in a bush. Rail fans racing along the road, trying to catch up with the train. We are still accelerating. He's a good rock to sit on and be a rail fan. Now even though the front of the train's on a flat gradient, the back of the train's still coming up the hill, so I'm not touching the reverse yet. Still giving her plenty of power. A good chance to accelerate too. Because here goes the gradient again. We can stay flat for long. Whoa. Oh, I know why. Because I've got the uh, automatic fireman turned on. I need to turn that off. It's only 10.29. What do we do now? Hmm. We haven't run that one for a while. Do some Falmouth. I do like Falmouth. Bit of Birmingham. 
What are we going to have a crack at? It's Huddersfield. A bit of Long Island. Ooh, I wonder if this will work. God, I haven't tried this such a long time. Uh, that's that one. I want... Is it that one? Main two? I think it's that one. Running low fuel, track improvements. Let's try this one. Main maritime crashes a lot, so if this works, this will be good. I only ran out of water because I've got the auto fireman turned on on the uh, the game cyclone, and you can't turn on the auto fireman when you've got that. Please review the briefing for an overview of the assignment. Running in TP40. Ready to go. First task pick up two loaded refrigerator cars. Current five longer from 61. Yeah, I'm kind of impressed that this is working. So this really old one works. Why don't we try another really old one? Let's have a look. What have I got installed? Go into Korea and routes. Let's just clear out Tokyo. Select the main menu. Drive. Don't want to see you in there anymore. Let's get rid of you. Oh, the menus actually work properly now. That's why I couldn't get rid of that. Uh, Benina's not old. What have we got that's old? Boston and Albany's not old. Chatham's not old. Clear Creek. Eh, it's kind of old. Clinchfield. Chorus is ancient. Uh, barn. Most of this stuff's fairly new. Falmouth is very old, but I know that works. Hamburg, the Hanover, Hikata. That, that's actually fairly old. Tadaka. Insulban, London, Brighton, Long Island Railroad, Morris Pass. We'll leave Long Island for next week. Midland, I know, works fine. We're running out of stuff that I've got installed here. Norfolk Southern, West Coast Line. Oh, that's fairly new, actually. Uh, Northeast Corridor, Pegnitzelbahn, Peninsula. Well, let's give Peninsula a run. Why not? We don't want to run that long though, because it's getting a bit up on time. We run this one. Time to pack up. Reverse commuter. Depart San Francisco. Ah, what the hell? Let's just do it. Let's do some cow train. Moo. 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 And I can't believe I am voluntarily. Uh, no, I don't have to do anything up there on TSC, do I? Wipers. Got some headlights, bright with crossing lights, and I want some. In screen wipers. We need to cut. Brake is cut in. That's fine. Take the loco brake off. It's the windscreen wipers up there somewhere. Three lights. But they don't need to do those. Let's just turn the gauge lights off, maybe. They look brighter. They look brighter. Twenty second street. Where's the windscreen wipers? This is sad. Must be a switch for the windscreen wipers somewhere. Hmm. Oh well.
Aha. There we go. 20 seconds straight, here we come. They have electrified this line rail works, kid. Opens next year, I think. And this is a fairly old one and it, it's working fine on the new version. What's our frame rate look like? Yeah, 80s, 70s, pretty good. It's ignoring the frame rate cap though. Still going through the slow bit. And why it is the slow bit? Because they never got permission to put the terminal up there. You get a bit smelly after a while if you couldn't wipe Cyclone. Oddly enough, this crossing is a whistle crossing and the next one is a silent crossing. Go figure. Yay, California. And yes, I know I'm speeding, I don't care. Because we have reached the right speed now. And there's no point going up to 75 because we'll be stopping. to the tunnel and we stop at 22nd Street just on the other side of it. Put on a little bit of braking. Crane Sim Classic doesn't represent that it uh, will come off the air brakes and use the dynamics. Crane Sim World does when you run this thing. Back into the rain, even though we're under a freeway. Alerta. That'll do. It's pretty much perfect, in fact. The doors open. Where are we stopping at after this? Just down to Milbrae, down to the airport station. Station shared with BART. Where am I going to 
flip this camera. Put it up here. I'll put it in the middle of this track. That'll work fine. As long as that train doesn't come the other way and hit me, it'll be good. Come on, Caltrain. Your station stops take too long. Melbray is next. You want the bell, do you, Metra? Standard passenger train behaviour. Full throttle. Where we go with the mooing cow train. If you look in Creators Club and Train Sim World, I did actually make a cow train logo. It seemed necessary at the time. It looks remarkably like the South Park cow. Nice little express run to Milbury. Home of the San Francisco Cows. The alert it doesn't sound when you're outside the train, clearly. Clearly. I don't know if it's going to let me get away with powering up again. We'll see. Will it? No, it won't. Uh, sigh. It did release the brakes, in fact it's taken away control of everything from me. There goes the master reservoir pumping up. Equalising's coming up. Brakes should start to release now. And then I should be able to power up. There we go. Turn that alerter off, I think, if I can. No, it will if I can. Doesn't believe in either of the keys for it. We're making revs, but no power. Does that mean PCS is still popped? Oh, reverser came out too. Alright, now it'll make revs. There we go, and power. Away we go. I don't like you, Mr. Alerter. That means I can't stay outside the cab. We're going to stay outside the cab anyway, because you know we can. I'll just have to mash the Q key periodically. I'm sure real ones do Metro, but in the game it's a bit um, unthrobby.
California are of course limited to 79 miles per hour because they don't like having PTC. I don't know if Crazy Dash is still here but uh, I'd be curious what the electric trains are going to do, whether they're going to run at uh, 79 or if they're going to run at the full 100 mile an hour that the line's capable of. Nice old rainy old day in California. Why did the reverser go back to zero? tell what that signal is. Is it red or is it green? What is it? Or are they facing the other way? Ah, don't do that. No, they're facing the other way, aren't they? I think, yes they are. Our signal's green, I can see it up there. Let's get the rail driver working again. Have to install it software. Back down to notch one for the seventy mile an hour curve. I was pleased to see when this came out, the update in TSW, that the, uh, the C came back there. Cyclone says lies, it's always sunny in California. Well, I live there, no it's not. <laughs> it often is, but no, it's not always sunny, but it is officially a desert. I don't think the steam engine was lacking for water in the tender, just in the boiler. Back up to full beans again, five miles to Milbrae. Silent crossing coming up. What does that mean, Metra? That's right. No horns. Oh, that looks pretty funny, doesn't it?
light air applications. We get rid of a few miles for the 65 corner. Another silent crossing. Being nice to the people of San Bruno. Time to accelerate. miles to Moubray. Moubray. Um, Mandy, there's only Caltrain on this route in real life. There is some Union Pacific freight, but you won't see a lot of it during the day. They tend to move at night time. BART does run alongside on this bit. So those tracks that you see there on the left hand side, that's BART, Bay Area Rapid Transit System, which is an electric train. And that's where they curve off and go to the airport. light air application to start slowing us down. Another silent crossing. Thirty pounds on the brakes for the roll into Milbray. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now arriving at Milbray, a light here for San Francisco Airport, crossing over to the BART services. And perhaps to pick up an Uber to San Jose because it would be quicker. That one's in the station. Go up to the top. No, didn't go up the top. There you go, up the top. Not many people on board today. It's a bit empty. This would be your standard rail fanning point. Breaks off. It's American, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
smoking is prohibited everywhere in California except for private homes and private vehicles. If you have no children in the car older, younger than 12, then you still can't. Full power on the Cowl Train Express. Passengers, the next stop is Redwood City. I keep worrying about those signals. Oh, bloody alerter. Ah. Don't like you. Really don't like you. Bail off the loco brakes at least so the train stays stretched. Alright then. Now we have to wait. Ah, sorry. PC8 is reset. Pumping up. Let's give it a notch while we wait for the brakes to come off. There they go. Another notch. Back of the train's probably starting to release about now. I tried turning it off, but it doesn't believe the standards. Oh no, we've redlined it! It's going to be a meeting with no tea and biscuits. Look at that. We can do that for three minutes. There we go, we got away with it. So now we're dropping back out of the red. All good. Hello, friend train. See you later, friend train. Oh, we we'll... can we finish this run? Probably. Let's have a look. What have we got to go? We've got Redwood, Menlo Park, Palo Alto, Mountain View, and San Jose Diridan. This is not a silent crossing. Next crossing is silent, go figure. Isn't that funny that that one wasn't, but the next one is. Caltrain does use PTC, but it's not implemented in the game. Actually, no, I take that back. Caltrain don't use PTC, that's why they're limited to 79 miles an hour. But I believe the new electric trains do use PTC, or a variant of it anyway. So they won't be limited. Neil TV8, hello. We did too many Tokyo runs, so we started trying old content in the game to see what's better and what if anything crashes. And I've had no crashes so far. The only thing I have on this train is a miscreant alerter.
just leave the bell on because there's so many crossings in a row here. If you've never checked out Neil's channel, I've only got a light audience today, I think you all know about Neil's channel actually, looking at who's here, but if you've never checked out Neil's channel, you should. Um, he's also doing a charity stream soon for lupus, which is a, a very good thing to support. So do check out Neil's channel when he does the charity stream. If you can afford to, um, please contribute to the cause. Yes, you can do uh, Notch 8 in this one, Neil. It is a miscreant alert uh, cyclone because you can't turn it off. Flying through San Mateo through the more silent crossings. Green on the signal. Poor Metro's head will be twisting around and around in circles for all of these things. Lexic Dark! You have turned up. How are you? Yes, we've had enough Japan and we're driving a Japanese train instead. Well, not this bit, but uh, they are. They are Nippon carriages. They're made in America though. They're not actually made in Japan. Haywood Park coming up, not stopping. So he appeared from inside her. Okay. Cyclone wants an SD40 on Falmouth. Okay. And the AP158 with Huddersfield. I actually don't have any Anderson Powerhouse stuff. There's been a couple of reasons for the crashing cyclone. The images is the main one. Neil says it has not fixed the issues they have with crashing on the standard scenario local selection after installing AP enhancement packs. Yes. There is a silent crossing coming up. Lots of the third party enhancement packs do things that Train Simulator was never designed to do. So they're just going to have to find ways to make them work in the new world and whether people like AP actually fix them or not I mean, AP has a lot of packs that have been abandoned but it doesn't sell anymore so I, I don't know if they'll get fixed I know just trains are working through theirs at the moment Unions all seem to be fine. Smokebox stuff all seems to be fine. Train Sim New Zealand Workshops has uh, released a patch for the JA and a patch for the KB that corrects the monkey brake handles. It is worth pointing out that the uh, known developers had access to this when it was in alpha and if they chose not to do anything that's on them.
No crashes is good, Violet. Yeah, Stefan had the patches ready to go already. What I suspect may have happened with some of the other providers is they may have assumed that whatever was causing the issue was going to get corrected and were sad when it didn't. Redwood City, next stop. Yeah, I'm not sure whether Searchlight have any actual issues or not. I haven't seen any of their stuff. I actually don't own any Searchlight stuff. I don't even have the stuff that's been offered to ambassadors. Stopping a bit early. Neil gets freezing on DLCs from DTG and certain ones from Just Train, Smokebox and Chorus Railway. Well, we can try Chorus Railway if you like. Did pile on the braking just a little early there. Next stop is Redwood City. Please don't forget to take all of your belongings with you. And if you have children with you, please take them. Oh, I thought the gate had no visible means of support, but it does. Welcome to Redwood City. The place that was once really big trees in a little California. Now it's just a lot of California and no trees at all. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh, maybe a bit forward for that one. Yeah, clearing the cache is always a good idea. Every time you install something in any train simulator DLC or mod or anything, you should always clear your cache. Oh, bud! Metro Park. Menlo Park, home of various tech organisations like Twitter that are in fact going bankrupt.
Neil 38 says they only sell their CP AC 4400 CW on Steam. I don't even have that. Lexic Dark says standard system integration with third party issues. Are we happy with the core changes? Is it worth it for the teething? Well, the current set of core changes um, do improve the messaging when things go bad. So you don't just get a standard out of memory anymore, although that does still seem to come up. But it is smoother. People generally get much higher frame rates. Look at that. 100 and something. That's pretty good. The DX12 experimental version of the core is still balls because all they've done is actually turn it on. They haven't haven't done any optimization work for it yet at all. So if you do run the DX12 version, expect it to look better and perform really badly. Just expect that and you'll be happy. But work will be done on that. And basically what they've done is they've brought it up to current technologies and they've gotten rid of it. With the exception of Lua, they've gotten rid of Lua is the language that the scenarios and things use, signaling and all that. Um, with the exception of Lua, they've upgraded all of the libraries to current versions. They have gotten rid of libraries that no longer exist or supported. And replaced them with other things. Silent Crossing. Passengers, next stop is Menlo Park, although your driver did actually forget he was stopping here, so we might not be. Just saying. Oh, we're stopping early. Take your pick. Either is fine. Neil TV8 says it came out in October 2020, so it came out before the Ambassador program existed. Yes. All clear, Palo Alto. Palo Alto, home of the Goog and the Fastbook. More power. Isn't Elizabeth Line automatic cyclone? Cyclone points out Elizabeth Line got made, the platforms have fast doors, you'd have to line up with the make stops. But I think Excel Elizabeth Line's automated train control. Like Bart. Yes, Neil TV8, we made it. We had a lot of deceleration going on there. There's probably a whole lot of people in the train going. Laptops on the floor, and there's coffee, and there's a guide dog that slid eight rows down under the seats until it banged into a lady that was reading the newspaper.
Oh, this is a silent crossing. Oops. Naughty Caltrain. More brakes! More brakes! Give it all the brakes, Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, now stopping at Palo Alto. Eventually. Probably going for a good slide right now. Those of you in the front carriages are actually okay. See you later, headphone head. Bye now. Have fun working at Facebook. Hello, poor house. How are you? That sounds about right, Lexic Dark. Who calls Facebook FB? Mountain Bear. Mountain Bear. Breaks off, power on, let's go. Full power. The train does stop pretty quickly because it's it does have disc brakes and it has got anti-slip as well. But they only break two axles on every carriage, which is always a bit interesting. Ah, uh, Cyclone. Cyclone suggests that we should issue complaint forms. Next stop, Mountain View. Who are you mounting to get the view? That is the question. How is the weather up your way, Nexic Dark? It's a little chilly here. More silent crossings. That was more luck than anything, Neil TB8. Just slam on all the brakes except the emergency and hope for the best. Mountain View in five miles. Bye, Caltrain. In reality, Neil, I believe they do. I don't think it's in Transim Classic, though. I can't remember if Transim World or not. But anyway, the core update that's just come out is not the end of the story. There are more plans to improve. The next step is to ditch 32-bit. Flex 
Toxic Dark says they have a Mount Erica and his brother responded I wouldn't dare. Ambient, ambient temp is 12, sun is warm, house heater on last night. We didn't have the heating running overnight but it was running in the evening. And it was running this morning to bring us back up to temperature again. But it probably won't run during the day because the sun's warming us up quite nicely. Two miles to Mountain View and slightly speeding. No, go to zero. I know an Erica. Wouldn't dare either. Punch your lights out. That's good news. So it does have them. We'll do a quick roll down chorus at the end of this because we're not got far to go in this one because we've got Mountain View and then San Jose itself and they're not very far apart. And we might do a quick roll down the chorus in the uh, in the mineral wagon. It's there. Quite you. Actually, I should have let the uh, alert fire off and see if it stops us in the station. That would have been funny. Next stop is Mountain View. Please gather your budgies, monkeys, elephants, rhinoceros, and unicorns and take them off the train when you leave. Thank you for riding cow train today. It's a pleasure to be moving. Tree incursions. Got hit in the face by a tree. And over there is the VTA light rail. Definitely does have the signs. And look at that. Just about perfect. Open the doors. This train will be stopping at San Jose Diridan. There will be no stops after San Jose Diridan. You just have to get off. Or if you're homeless, perhaps you might consider staying in the train because it's warm. Now, all the crashes that I have seen, except for the images, have come down to third-party stuff and mods where uh, things aren't quite right. Why don't you release the brakes? It'll be because I didn't release the handle, wouldn't it? More power to overcome the lack of releasing brakes. Chorus has had some changes recently. Not in the game, in real life. They now have a traverser up the top instead of runaround points. Let's them have one extra carriage, I believe. 
Alrighty, 10 miles to San Jose. These people I know recently sold their house in San Jose after retiring from working at Google for the last 35 years or so. And they have bought themselves some acreage in North Carolina, I think. Ba -da 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 -da. Well, they shall rock in their rocking chairs on their porch with their shotguns. Looks like Flying Scotty's well in the lead for next week. So at this point it's looking like Flying Scotty and maybe some LIRR to go with it. Can I give it any more, Captain? It just explode. Shut up, you. to get cream. Well, that was close. <laughs> Bloody Americans. Coming down the warm sunny bale. Eight miles to San Jose Duradin. Well, it's California, say it. Die ride on. It's a substation for the electric trains that are going in now. Fully designed to excite people like Metro. Yeah, that's basically it. Lexic Dark. The DX12 version is a public beta. And if you don't have some grunty hardware, I wouldn't be trying it. As Lexic Dark says, it's now up to the third parties doing a mop up. Indeed. We need to make sure their stuff works. I'm actually impressed with the um, lack of issues, to be honest, because it's it's literally a 20 year old game engine. Some of it dates right back to the Kuju days with MSTS. So it's quite impressive that it's working as well as it does. Five miles to San Jose de Raidon. The air ride on San Jose? Is it a bike? 
Everybody rides the bike. I've got to start slowing down for Seamoth, which is coming up shortly. And I think we have a track change too, by the looks of it, because there's a very short 35 mile an hour zone there. So we would be appear to be changing tracks right before Santa Clara. Cyclone, I believe DTG tests their own stuff. They don't have any responsibility to test third-party stuff. Third parties were given access. If they chose to test and fix beforehand, like New Zealand Train Sim Workshops did, fantastic. If they chose to ignore it, sucks to be them. Enterprise. It's called activity in this game, but it's called Enterprise in the real one. You don't ride a bike cyclone. You've just never been fortunate enough to know one. Track change, as expected. 14 I was paying attention for a change, and we didn't violently hit the track change. And I won't go back up to full beans even though it is 79, because I have a pair of yellows up here. Bye bye, Santa Clarita. It puts the lotion on its skin. Oh, that was San Carlos. Santa Clara, home of the vampires. Also San Carlos. been to Santa Clara a few times. It's a remarkably uninteresting place, I have to say. Cyclone suggests the best thing is running at 200 k's in Germany and taking a 50 km an hour junction. Yes, you would go flying through the air at that point. It's a bit like Midland Line if you forget about that corner at the end of the tunnel. And your train goes whee off into the chasm. A lashing yellow. That could happen. Do you know, I'm tipping if there was anybody standing back there, they wouldn't be dressed like that because that's where the Caltrain staff get on and off. 
He is seen off where the maintenance is done on the cow train and I just went through a 10 mile an hour corner at about 40. That's okay. Didn't really expect to be changing tracks there, but there you go. I thought the 10 was because we were coming into Seamoth, so I ignored it. I'm still ignoring it, as you can tell. Friction will do it. See, friction's bringing the speed down nicely. I suppose I should bring it down to 20, though. Passengers, next stop is San Jose de Ridon. You will be leaving us today. Thank you for riding Cal Train. It's been a pleasure moving you along through Northern California. As you step out, please enjoy the wonderful sunny California weather that we are having. And don't forget to take all of your things with you. Especially that bloke in carriage 3 making a pipe bomb. Please make sure you take all of that with you. You thought we couldn't see you, didn't you? Well, you know. You're not just being paranoid about being cameras everywhere. We really can see you. Always. Even when you go to the toilet. As you leave the station, please watch out for Beavis and Butthead, who are often hanging around here. And if you don't know what that phrase is, you're simply too young. Let's use all the brakes. Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. Go the rest of the way. Full stop. More, 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 more. That'll do, said the spider to the pig. Thank you, Charlotte. I don't mind if I do. Well, that's the end of our run on... Uh, San Jose. We'll go and do a quick roll down the chorus and see if that explodes since it does the cyclone. And that'll be it for today. Lexic Dark was looking at the BMW 1250GS. It's a magnificent motorcycle. Very cool. It's also very expensive. Ah, quick drive. Actually, I think it's a standard scenario, the chorus, isn't it? The one we just roll. No, maybe it's not. All right, let's try a career. Could be a quickie. It's funny that the word search turns up there. There we go. Unloading, first run of the day, finishing off, going for work, two-part delivery. Actually, number seven. There we are. Chorus Railway Gravity Train. Go. This is always silly. Well, it didn't catch fire, but it felt like it was about to derail. All right, then. Let's release our brake. Off we go. Are we actually on the tracks? We are on the tracks. It doesn't feel like it, but we are. So this is the kind of thing you wouldn't ever find happening on an actual railway. Just rolling down the hill in a ma in a wagon. I might suggest to you that in the distant past, 
it did used to happen on a certain steam railway that runs in a certain mountain range east of Melbourne. Where it wasn't that unusual to ride a wagon that may or may not have been classed NQR down the hill and then push it back up again. Just saying. So, Chorus not cratching cyclone. It is a bit cool running, I suppose. That's a grumpy looking fella. It does almost derail when you hop back into it. It, it jiggles a lot. What? We hop back in. Jiggle, jiggle. Oh, yeah, something not quite right there. Oh, yeah, picking up some speed now. I think the last time I saw anybody do this, it was Jamie, and he crashed it at the end. They went flying off into the distance. It's kind of funny. Lexington. Oh, Cyclone says, Welcome aboard Kamikaze Rail. Please buckle your seatbelts so you can be identified later. We're sitting in the uh, fireman spot by the look of it. There you go, there's the driver's spot. See, what would be really fun with this is meeting a steam engine coming the other way going, Wah! Jump! Jump and run! Dart recalls a story about racing trams up and down Elizabeth Street in the early AMs. Could happen. The um, Essendon Bypass would be a more likely place. and walk through a wall. Now we get into the steep bit. A couple of steam engines live down there, but they're not there today. There's no one in the sheds. That's a word to scenario builders. Always put stuff in the sheds and in the yard so people can see them. And there's a little hump of track that often derails you and shouldn't be there anyway. Here we go, down the hill. Oh, haven't we all been behind that person? I had one last night that was driving in the Dandenongs at 40 kilometres an hour when I was coming home from Puffing Billy. And we got into the two lane section, she just drove right in the middle. Deliberately trying to stop people. And I think she was slightly horrified when me and another bloke actually passed her on each side. Wasn't very happy about that. But she'll survive. I passed legally on the right hand side, just saying.
21 miles an hour would get quite exciting in a little four-wheel car, I think. I can't remember if this is a loco brake or a train brake. I guess we'll find out in a minute. And if we go flying off the end, you'll know what happened. See, what they didn't tell these passengers up the top is they have to push it back up again. Good idea to start braking, you reckon? Ah, maybe we should then. That could only be an Acme Thunderer, that whistle. Set the 12% braking and that'll be it. There we go. End of the line, folks. Now you've got to push it back up the hill. Did we mention that at the top? Oh, I'm sorry. It's incomplete, but you made it in one piece. Well done. Go figure. Anyway, I think that's enough for today. So next week it looks like Flying Scotsman and some LIRR. Week after that will be Peak Forest. I will schedule both of those this afternoon sometime. I'll be popping up a video on the Climax run from yesterday on Puffing Billy, Climax 1694. So, it could be all fun. Thank you for hanging around. And uh, enjoy your Sunday or Saturday, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, looks like the neighbour did actually manage to get his, uh, his mower. That's good. I'll be going shit story now. Alrighty, have fun, folks. See you later. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.